Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm back here at the range today and I've got my GSG 15 special edition here with me again today. Um, so in my last video, you guys saw me just doing some drills and whatnot with the GSG, but I told you in that last video, I hadn't even sighted it in yet. So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sight this guy in. We're still gonna do a couple drills today, but I also wanna try some longer range, uh, maybe 25 meter shots with this thing today and see if we can ring some steel at 25 meters. But uh, yeah, first things first, let's get this baby sighted in. Make sure that the sights are all lined up. Elevation wise, that's gonna vary, but I wanna make sure that the windage uh, sight is at least lined up. So that would be the rear sight. So we're gonna shoot from the bench just to get it sighted in. And then uh, we'll do a couple drills and then we'll do some longer range shooting with this guy as well. So stay tuned, let's rock and roll. All right guys, so we've got 10 rounds loaded in this magazine. We're gonna just be shooting off the bench for this. So I've got my uh, bullseye target set up out there. Here we'll just shoot from the bench and see where we're hitting. We should do five shots first and then see where it's hidden and then do another five shots. So I was aiming at this one here. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like it's pretty sighted in already. I don't know. We'll give uh, we'll give this top left target here a try and see what we can hit with five more shots on this one. Top left target. Okay, shooting slightly to the right, I guess. So I'll make a slight adjustment and then I think we're pretty much good. So let's move on to the drills. This thing is quite accurate. Like those groups aren't that bad. I made a slight adjustment to the windage. So we'll shoot five more and see if that helped. Let's go. Oh, still, still to the right. Okay, I might have adjusted it the wrong way because it's more to the right now than it was before. Top left again. Hey, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we're good and sighted in. So let's run some drills. All right, guys. So if you guys see my last video, you probably noticed I was kind of just messing around, um, trying to do it really fast. It was getting kind of sloppy. Did a couple of decent drills, but I wasn't really doing anything very focused. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some focus drills. So I'll take you guys along with me as I do some really focused drills on some really specific points that I wanna target and improve upon, such as going from low ready, one shot, high ready, one shot, 
and just getting really getting used to uh, getting that fast efficient smooth target acquisition and a smooth shot and a smooth follow-up um, and then later on maybe we'll do some one shot reload as well and then after that what we're going to do is we're going to do some 25 meter shots on some steel targets also so stay tuned for that um, we'll start off at seven meters right now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do five low ready target acquisition one shot and then five high ready target acquisition one shot and that's it and we'll take a short break and then we'll move on to the next drill all right guys drill number one is so we're going to go from low ready to one shot and see just do it at a pace where it's smooth consistent and not too fast that i start to get uh, clumsy and start to fumble everything and not do it properly so we'll do it as fast as we can but with the best form possible let's go Oh yeah, and we're going to be going for headshots here, of course. So, low ready. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. All right, so as we can see, they are all headshots. They are not the most consistent or the best grouping. So obviously I've still got a lot of work to do with target acquisition. Uh, so I might slow it down on the next round. All right, we're gonna go with the same target here and this time go from high ready. One, two, three. 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 And that's five. So you guys can see they were within the head, but quite a bit of spread so there's a lot of work that need to be done when I slowed it down on that second round you can see they got a little bit better and a little bit tighter compared to the first round when I was shooting from low ready and I was trying to do it faster so now we know what pace we need to be shooting at in order to shoot more consistently and then to just train at that pace until it's smooth and let the speed come naturally set number two we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go from low ready one shot and then high ready, one shot, and we'll do five rounds with each one. So this time we'll slow her down a little bit, try to get it at a good pace. So we'll start at low ready. And that's five. I can already see my groups are a lot better with that. So we'll go high ready this time. Yeah. That's already a lot better than the first set. So I'll show you guys this. There we go. The group is already a lot better compared to that first set that we did. So once I slowed it down just to a pace where I can be more smooth with it, you can already see that that grouping is a lot tighter and a lot better. So now I know what pace I need to be at to continue to practice this drill. Um, so we'll keep it going at that pace, but we're going to move on to the next drill. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two shots, reload, and then two shots. Let's go. This time we're not going to go for the head. We're going to go for the A-frame. So just the uh, chest cavity there.
All right, one more time, double tap, reload, double tap. Show you guys real quick where those hits went. So this was, that was the first round. That was the first set there, two and two. And this was the second set there. All right guys, this time we're gonna do one shot, reload, one shot. Kind of messed up on the reload there. So we're gonna do it again, one more time. I think that's uh, that'll do it for the reload drills. Um, still got to get used to it a little bit more. Still got to work at probably either this pace or just a tiny bit slower, uh, just to make it a lot more smooth. Um, but let's move on to a little bit longer range drills because I want to shoot some steel and hear that ring. So. Let's go 25 meters now. High. Too high. There we go. I think that was five. Okay. We're going to move on to high ready now. Right. Hit. Too high. Hit. Hit. And that's it. So obviously that drill there needs a little bit of work. So I'm gonna put 10 more rounds in the mag and then slow it down and then try it again. So let's go. Right, hit, high, hit, and that's five. We're gonna go high ready now. Hit, 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 high. Felt that. That's it. Okay, so it's a little bit better. I think we're probably going to keep it at that pace for a bit and practice more on that. Um, let's see. Let's do some double taps, triple taps, and reload drills just for kicks, just for fun. All right, guys, I've got six rounds in each mag. So, what we're going to do is double tap, double tap, double tap, reload, and then repeat. Let's go. Low ready. Okay guys, let's try that again. I'm trying to push it too fast. I gotta really slow it down and get it smooth. So try it again, a little bit slower this time. Okay, I think that was a little bit better. Let's see how I can do that at 25 meters with this gong. Double tap, reload, double tap. So 
obviously there is an issue with the follow through because I'm missing the second shot but I seem to be getting the first one so try it again there we go ah that second one missed both this time I'm gonna reload the magazine from my back pocket because that's realistically where I'd probably have it okay Ready? Low, ready. One, two. Ready? One, two, three. Yes. Okay. Three out of four. I think that's going to do her for today's video. Managed to get a few focus drills in. I'm actually going to stay here a little bit longer and continue to do some of these focus drills. I'm just not going to bother filming it with the camera so I can really focus and concentrate on the drills themselves. Second time to the range with this gun here for me and uh, yeah so I'm just working on improving my shooting skills with this gun and uh, really trying to drill down and focus on particular aspects of where I'm finding that I'm lacking. Of course as a beginner there's a lot of places where I'm lacking but I want to just tackle them one by one um, just like the Japanese philosophy of Kaizen, which is basically it means continuous improvement every single day. I interpret that as in learning new skills, which is what I'm doing with this and also improving upon the skills that you already have. So that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what you thought down below. And if you haven't already, check out the rest of my other content in my channel. And if you like my stuff, please, I hope you do consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me and I would really, really appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you.